Hey, 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 it's your boy Abu, ABU, because you can't be me, and we back at it again with a new video. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, and as of right now, today's video is being recorded on January 1st, 2024. So, Happy New Year. Congratulations, you made it to a new year, but we got one problem. Here you are, making your 2024 vision board. And you still putting down your 2023 vision. Now, ain't that a shame? Didn't the year pass? So, hey, anyway, in today's video, we're going to be touching on how to accomplish all your goals in 2024. In that time frame. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But before we get into the video, mm, I want to let y'all know that I'm going to make this nice, short, and simple. So, do me the favor and watch it all the way through. And I promise you'll learn something. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So I, I want you to stop and just think about it. Time is moving fast. You ever heard a saying that time is flying? Yeah, time is actually flying. Humans, we run, we jump, we walk, we crawl. But one thing we don't do is fly. So you gotta you, you gotta come with a plan to be able to fly, right? You gotta be you gotta be on a plan to be on the same time frame. As time itself, because time is flying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how? How do you do this? First, you got to realize that number one is you don't have enough time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On At January 1st, at 12 a.m., they popped off fireworks. You dance, you ate a little bit of food, you rest, you went to sleep, woke up eight hours later. Boom. Your, time, your day is already flying by. But because me, right now, I told myself, I got to drop this. I got to make this video on January 1st. And I set it on schedule. So what you want to do, you want to, you, you got to have a schedule. But it's deeper than that. It's realizing that, hey, did you accomplish your goals in 2023? Um, and if you did, what time did you accomplish them goals? Maybe towards what? The end of the year. Why? Because you see that the clock is ticking and your time is running out. But the truth is, the clock is ticking January 1st at 12 a.m. That's when the clock began to tick. You got to do something all 12 months so that what? So that you get something done in a year. It takes 12 months, right? So from the very, very, very first month, what you want to do is look at the first month as it's the last month. Look at the second month as it's the last month. Look at the third month as it's the last month. Every month, look at it like, whoa, I don't got enough time. And move the way that you would have moved in December when you were running out of time. But the truth is, we are slack. We put things to the side. And then towards the end of the year when we see we run out of time, we start to move with urgency. And guess what? Sometimes we get the thing done and sometimes we don't. But the fact that you can get something done in a month but you set a goal for it for the whole year, that means for 11 months you played around. So what you want to do is what? Find a way to be ahead of time because time is flying and you can't fly. So how do you be ahead of the time? You got to learn how to understand and set that mindset that you don't have enough time. And set the mindset that hey, it's things that I got to do in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December so that I can make sure on December 31st that the goal was accomplished. So once you miss one month, look at it. If I mess up this month, ideally, I'm behind. So if you mess up two months, you're double behind, right, right, right. And then in Jan and then in December, you're trying to get it all done and you can't get it done because you're too far behind. And then you start over the race the next year. No, not this year. This year you don't start over. You start from start to finish. You pace. You don't sprint. You pace all the way. Toward the end. So what you want to do is what? You want to learn how to be in control of time. And know that time is ahead of you. So this is that's number one. And all of this is going to wind up all together up to number one. So this is also number one. Is that when you come in. You want to find out how to set your goals for the year. And then set monthly goals. That if you did the monthly goals every year. I mean every month. Come the twelfth month, in no way you can fail, right, right, right. And how do you do that? Every week, 
you set something every week. So when it comes to the end of the month, what? You never fail because you did everything that you need to do every week. But, hmm, how do you make up for the week? It costs scheduling your day. So now you got on your day. Hey, I can't do nothing between 9 to 12 because at 9 to 12, this is must is what must be done. And then if time, if 9 to 12 isn't done, you know what happened? 9 to 12 turned to 9 to 2. You can't do nothing else till you do what you're supposed to do at that time. Because you got to do that so that the week can be complete. And the week got to be complete so that the month be complete. And the month got to be complete so that the year be complete. And by that way, by the end of the year, your goal will be complete. And you won't be making no 2024 vision board in 2025. So the main thing in the million dollar ideal is the fact that you don't got enough time and plenty because you don't have enough time. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. But anyways, hey, if you watch the video all the way through, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend and tell a friend that you just learned something. But hey, I'm casting out.